Kentucky Game Day continues on a Texas size weekend of football on KBTX. You know, in today's game, trash talking is about as common as, well, shoulder pads and helmets. You know, the players do a lot of it on the field, and well, I think now the fans have kind of gotten into it. And hey, we're not, it's not trying to be insulting. But hey, they're just trying to be clever. Indeed. What it is is the verbal corner blitz, and we're about to <laughs> unleash it. Fans have a lot of pride in their teams, and they're not shy about showing it. It's hard to match the passion of a college football fan, and boy, do we have someone who's passionate about the Aggies. All right. Now, he may go out on a limb sometimes, but our boy Blake, well, he enjoys that view from the edge. You may not agree with what he says, but he'll certainly get your attention. Time now for this week's edition of Blake's Takes. Blake's Takes is presented by Watson Motors. Wow, I really like that intro. It makes me feel important. That's awesome. <laughs> hey, guys, I think I'm getting used to this, uh, this television personality thing. It's like getting on a bike and going downhill without any brakes. You just, ah, until you hit the bottom and then you crash. <laughs> hey, folks, Blake Fisher here. I'm here for the second edition of Blake's Takes. And I'd like to address a problem that happened last year. First and foremost, for about the first half of my uh, first take last week, uh, there were some microphone problems with it. So I wanted to kind of address it. I went out and got the official American <laughs> Idol microphone here. And so, you know, just y- y'all just tell me where to plug this thing in, and we'll be good to go. I don't know whether to sing a Toby Keith song with this or do my take. But anyways, hey, guys, last week, I, I mean, the temperature last week, it was hot. It's almost as hot as it is this week. But, you know, as I was sitting there, I was thinking, it's not the temperature. It was those video boards behind me. My gosh. I mean, those things, they, they really are awesome. And I think that's a great, great asset to our game day atmosphere. But, you know, there's been a lot of talk this week about these things. It's been in the media and the newspaper and stuff like that. And if I could actually try to get serious for one second, I just kind of want to address that. You know, I, I'm so lucky that I went to a university where we have such a, a camaraderie and a kinship with our football team. But, you know, I, I think that, you know, as, as a donor and as a season ticket holder, sometimes we get a little bit carried away. We kind of think that the game's about us. But I just want to tell all the fellow Aggies out there that, you know, the game, first and foremost, is about supporting our team, creating an uncomfortable atmosphere for the opposing team, and then also, most importantly, to impress those recruits. You know, from what I saw last week, those recruits were really, really excited. You know, if they're excited, then I'm excited. So that's the way I feel about it. <coughs> Excuse me. Gosh, guys, I, I'm sorry. I've been a little bit under the weather this week. I had to spend the week in Lubbock. It was just, <laughs> ugh. I mean, Lubbock, the land of blowing red dirt, cow manure, and red raiders. I mean, it's enough to make anybody sick. And even something that makes me even more sick is the fact that I remember what happened 10 years ago this week. It's the old Jake DeLone, Brandon Stokely, and the Raging Cajuns beat us 29-22 in, uh, in Lafayette. Oh, doctor, that was one of the worst things I've ever seen in my entire life. But um, anyways, uh, w- what I was going to say is that, uh, is that you know, I-, I think about that game back in the day. And, you know, I can even remember the fact that as we were leaving the stadium, the buses were, that they, the Raging Cajuns were pulling the goalposts across the highway and it had to stop the bus. And then to add insult to injury, I read in the, in the Lafayette paper this week that I hear that the University of Texas, the dirty, greasy Longhorns in Austin, that they tried to buy that goalpost from USL. I mean, that's the reason yet 355,000 why I hate the University of Texas. <laughs> But moving quite along here, uh, you know, uh, uh, they're now called the University of Louisiana at Lafayette. And I'll still call them Southwestern Louisiana. They follow in great footsteps of the other directional school, such as the Southwest Texas State Teachers College, which is now known as Texas State University. You know, that's, it should be called the I got kicked out of University of Texas and now I'm in San Marcos school. But you know what? Moving on to today's game. Last week, I felt so much potential with this team. I was so excited about the way that the offense looked and the way the defense, I mean, they're improving and everything. You know, it reminds me of, you know, some of my T-Sip and Red Raider friends. They keep on saying, Blake, we've got a great Toby Keith song for you, where they say, I ain't as good as I once was, but I'm as good once as I ever was. They try to say that that applies to the Aggies. You know what? That's a bunch of junk, you know? I don't believe in any of that. You know, I love the way that last year one of the defensive guys said, how do you grade the Aggies? He said, I don't give them an A, B, C, or D. I give them a W. We're going we're gonna to work on that today. We're going to build on it. I say Texas A&M today, 42, USL 3, and we send the Raging Cajuns on a long drive back to Lafayette. All right. Well, nice work. Thanks for the opinions. It's nice to see that you brought your props as well. <laughs> Great first bounce with the microphone. Yeah, Y'all can keep that, that really by good. the way, if you, you want to. Oh, well, thank you so much. There you have it, Blake's takes. We can't top that. We generally just go to commercial at this point. When we come back, the lads in the equipment room help some students understand the complexities of football equipment in this week's 